Hello and welcome to a brand new series, not only a brand new series, but a whole new channel. Yes, welcome to Crane Crazy. Yes, this channel is all about things that I do at work. Um, yeah, if you don't know who I am, I'm Andy and I run a very popular theme park funfair and amusements channel called Coaster Crazy. Yes, I just thought I'd start this brand new channel, like just now. It, it just popped into my head. Why? Have I not done anything like this? There's obviously things that I can show you, and there's probably most things that I um, that I, I I really can show you. There's not a lot here um, on this site, particularly, that I can't show you. It's um, basically for McCarthy Stone here in Tadley, which is uh, near uh, Reading um, and Basingstoke, that sort of area. I think it's actually the county of Basingstoke and Dean, uh, off the top of my head. It takes me around 50 minutes to drive here um, and the crane is quite old actually, it's a 2004 model and it's what you call a saddle jib, so in crane theory you get the, the flat ones or the flat tops and the, the saddle jib and then some cranes you'll see around, mainly in London and high, high rise areas to save up the space, ones that stick up in the air and they're called a luffer, so this is a saddle that I'm on. Um, all the crane geeks. I don't know if you, I don't know how this popular channel will go, or how popular this channel will go. Should I say? Sorry if I stutter quite a lot. This is what I'm like on my normal channel. If you don't know what I'm like, um, I try and keep the video as 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 informative as I can. Show you what I can. Um, but yeah, the crane's a bit of a mess at the minute. So I'll film this section. I'll tidy up the cab a bit. And I'll show you around. So yeah, the model of this crane is a J140N. So the J stands for Yasso. So this is actually a Spanish company that made these cranes. And over in Spain, uh, because it's too hot with the heat, um, then most cranes are actually driven by remote control on the ground. So as a crane comes on a building site, you always get a driver mostly <laughs> in most countries. Um, and then you get what's called a slinger. Now, when I first started a slinger, you'd call them banksmen, so they would bank the crane. Not with a W at the beginning, but yeah, bank the crane like you were banking somebody at the bank. Um, yeah, um, so so it's basically controlling the driver, controlling the, contro uh, the, the, the crane uh, of what needs picking up, what we're building and stuff like that on a daily basis. Not just a daily basis, but every minute like every basically a lift would normally take around five minutes to do one single lift so that's from going over to knowing where it is if it's blocks bricks or whatever you're building shutters concreting roller coasters anything like this i think to be honest i don't know why i haven't started this channel even if it's just filming me in between just to let you know my radio might, might go off so i use a motorola uh, three-way radio in the crane just like this one so yeah basically touch the side uh, and tell my uh, slinger that I'm actually making a YouTube video and it'll be on the telly <laughs> or in the on the in up the crane <laughs> it'll be up the crane now um, yeah so that's basically how he communicates with me or I just look out the window that's what I do for a living I stare out of a window now when I was at school and up to this day I'm a bit of a daydreamer so that's why I come up with these crazy ideas start YouTube channels do everything else get covered in tattoos I've got over 60 tattoos on my body I'm actually planning to get another one done uh, Mandalorian and Grogu so I could even show you the whole process of that even started a third channel just doing co uh, tattoo conventions because I want to get more into that because I've been spending obviously more money on trips with Coaster Crazy going around the world to these incredible theme parks and seeing all this incredible structures being built so uh, yeah basically this is my cab anyway I sit here I've got the controls here to my right and left these control the uh, the hoist so pull up and down on the lever button at the top doesn't actually do anything I've got a stop and start an emergency stop on that side and then this is just to be slew left and right with the crane and trolley in and out as well that's about it i will show you that in a minute like i said i'll i'll tidy the cab up so uh yeah welcome to the brand new channel <laughs> crane crazy i hope you enjoy this i'm basically going to show you my days of getting to work and everything so it might be like a, a two weekly part or a three weekly part 
it could even, it could even be easily a daily vlog. I'm, I'm on a break now, so I can film now for the next 20 minutes and get some content out for you. Basically walk out, I'll show you the crane. I'll see you in a minute, I'll just tidy up a bit. It's a bit, I've got drinks and my glasses, like obviously, because I'm, it's really bright. I'm away from the sun, so I hope the lighting's pretty good in here, because it's not too bad. Um, I've got my bag and obviously my, my jacket behind me, my, my high vis helmet's up there behind me. I've got a little rubbish bin there, glass cleaner and things up there, and yeah. I've got uh, some bottles, yeah, most people will say, well, how do you go for the toilet up there? So I'm going to keep this as, 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 as well, family-friendly as I can. If you've got young children who want to see building sites, big cranes, and you normally get, like, uh, deliveries of wagons and stuff turning up so I can film the deliveries coming in in the morning, showing you what I can do. So, yeah, and then obviously just throughout the years of me doing this career, or even this channel, I can go to different sites. I can use get the drones up and get some nice shots of the sites. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy this channel. Sorry for the intro being so long for this brand new channel, Crane Crazy. Right, so I've uh, tidied the cam up a little bit, put things away. Uh, I still haven't put that over there away, which I was going to put away yeah sorry if my fingers are in the way a bit filming with this yeah i'm using my phone i, I will eventually probably bring a gopro uh i can attach a gopro to the trolley actually i'll bring it in so you can see it um so yeah this is the crane it's yellow the company i work for are called falcon tower crane services been with them for about 10 years now and i love it so yeah I'll show you what's in the cab, I'll show you the crane and everything. But all you uh, ride geeks out there, you coaster enthusiasts, would you class this as a credit? <laughs> it's got poly, uh, polyneurethane wheels, I can never say that word right. Uh, four on each, one on each corner. So you can see the trolley just there. I've got a bit of string hanging on to my window yeah my blinds aren't great either but we'll get to that in another st story or another video if you find it interesting so yeah this is my trolley my block is down there with the chains on it so that's what picks it up so i'm going to go up and down and obviously it can slow left and right with this here that's left and right and then out with that and it goes the trolley, so if you've got a load on there, obviously you'd be watching your blocks, you don't get a swing in it. Again, I'll show you all that, how to take swings out. So yeah, I've got like a bit of chewing gum, some pop from yesterday. This is my computer, so this basically shows me the weight, so I can pick up eight ton at this radius at 10.5 meters. So if you see, and by the flags as well, there's flags all the way down, so the tube is actually 45 metres in length. Yeah, I work off metres. Um, and that's really about it, really. It's got the, the model of the crane, none of these buttons. You don't want to touch none of that, but you just need to know your weight most of the time. Um, so obviously when I pick things up, that'll change. You can just see that there, eight tonnes. So the actual weights are the top, so zero. And my glasses, yeah, over here on this side I've got a little a little table. I've got my radio on a charge, which is plugged in down to these sockets here, which I've rigged up. Um, my heater down there, that's quite good. It actually gets too hot sometimes, so I have to lean down and grab it. So this is my view. Sorry about my trousers, yeah, I look like a bin man most of the time. In the summer I'll be wearing my shorts. And things but yeah I need to uh, clean this the glass floor needs a sweep I should I should have done that before but there's nothing actually down in this radius that I need to look down the floor at so it doesn't really matter so it's basically the view that I get when I'm uh, when I'm working picking things up so yeah this is what we're building it's the McCarthy stone at the back over there is going to be a um, co-op with some flats on the top I'll swing around and show you that. And then there's these rooms, individual rooms here, here, here. So there's three there. And there's another three here. Same again on the other side. Um, we're about one floor up at the moment. And then they pull these slabs. Uh, look at that. That's the shadow of the crane. 
Everyone that's ever seen those videos about where the uh, crane goes over sunbathers and they get up and move, I've actually done that <laughs> a few times. Once it was in Bristol, it was brilliant. There was a young girl on the back behind the crane and I sort of slewed over and the shadow cast the shadow on top of her and she got up and moved. Yeah, so it's McCarthy Stone. It's retirement houses as well. They're really nice when they're finished. There's balconies and things going on it. So yeah, my radio, all, always docked, always powered up, spare battery if I need one. Me, uh, me cold coffee, which I love. Not Starbucks today, but you'll be seeing me coffee reviews and things as well. Uh, got me, uh, me dice, hand Solo, I've some in the Millennium Falcon. Why not me? I'm driving a Falcon-based tower crane anyway. Yeah, like I said, I've got my bag. Oh, well, you can understand me half the time with me northern accent. Obviously, this is a brand new channel. You've just come across this, so uh, yeah, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. So yeah, be, I've got another magnetic hook. I've got these from Amazon. They're brilliant, so strong. Pack of three. So there's one there holding me helmet because I've got nowhere really to, on the floor to put it. Like I say, it is an old crane. I've only been on this one a, about a month now. I'll show you outside. So yeah, it's a bit of a squeeze getting through here. Sorry, my gut's in the way. <laughs> and I will be going on a diet soon. So there's so much of this channel I can bring to the table, even if it was half an hour long. I've got some sprays and some paper and stuff in there if you need to go. Always collect, carry glass wiping cloths from Wilco's, brilliant. Go check out Wilco's for your, for your stuff. I've got some glass cleaner up there and that's about it. This is the what you call the back jib, this section here. So that's the counterweights on the back of there. Don't know off the top of what I should do. The weight that's on the back, it's, it's, it's quite a lot. So you get your duties charts here again. I will show you all this, how it all works, how everything, if you're really interested in stuff like this. Yeah, beautiful morning here. Not really much I need to do with the crane once I've climbed up the bottom, basically turn the generator on down there, first thing. How, how scary is that for some people? Stamp with my feet, as Adam Wu would say. He's not climbing cranes, is he? Five days a week. Yeah, so I turn on my generator. I basically park up the road. No, it's all free parking. There's a little shop, there's a petrol. I mean, I ain't even shown you the view, look. <laughs> This is Tadley, yeah, there's a SO petrol station over there. I feel like I'm Tucker Got now, flying through the air. This is cool. Why have I not filmed vlogs like this before? Looks like I can skirt into that big old patch of grass. Um, so basically, yeah, climb up to the Jenny on, climb up, and then these are your slew motors. So there's a giant cog. This is your slew ring. A lot of rides, well, basically all fun fair rides have these slew rings, so yes mount into this whole section that, that won't come apart it can't do it's a slew ring it's all bolted together loads of bolts all underneath so you've got your motors most of your kmgs and your hus would use motors like these these are spanish motors and when you turn the crane there's me radio going so i'll have to do a lift but i'll show you that yeah so i'll come up and do the bolt of the the brakes and jump in the cab and turn it on so yeah i hope you enjoy this channel throughout its life. I don't know how it's going to go. I mean, there's not, like I said, there's not much, I can't really show you. It's just setting up something. I need to bring me GoPro and a clamp so I can clamp your places. Cause now I can't really do that, but I can drive one handed. So I'll receive what the message was. What was that, Sergey, mate? Uh, to your left, 90 degrees, empty bulb skip. Yeah, empty bulb skip. Yeah, it's from uh, Croatia, so it's, it's very near Russia. <laughs> so he just tells people he's Russian, but he's a really nice guy. So yeah, re received my instruction. So basically I'm just slewing around one-handed, because a lot of modern cranes, newer cranes, have what's called a dead man. So you actually need to hold a trigger or press something and keep it down while you're moving but with these you can't so yeah i should move the, my drink out of the way really so you can see <laughs> so i'm going down there right this clip's been about eight minutes or so and it wasn't about me how 
how to operate the crane. This is just got to show you what I do on a daily basis, show you the site. And just an intro really, an introduction to the brand new channel, Crane Crazy. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far in this very short video. I'll do um, a lift, or I'll get my lift on the on the go, to be honest, because I shouldn't I shouldn't be hanging around. Where's he gone? He's, oh, skip. So I've got to go for my skip, which is down here. Right, so I've picked my lift up. You can see the uh, boat skip on there. It's going, it's, yeah, it's quite difficult holding my phone and doing this. Oh, I can just use the one hand. Not a problem, as long as I've got my height. So there's actually um, a pharmacy down here as well. Doctors and a pharmacy just in that building there, a bit of car park. So I've got to watch what I'm doing when I go over people, obviously. So my point's down there, there's my guy. And the orange. I'll come around and put that into that yeah, space there. there. Right, so I did my lift. I've actually got you propped up <laughs> against the window at the minute, so the footage won't be amazing because you'll get all the dirty window smears. Uh, so mainly, I, ho I hope you can hear me okay. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is this is this is me driving the crane. So I did that lift, the skip went down in that little space there. I, yeah, I'm finding it difficult, obviously, to fill. I, I wouldn't really normally necessarily drive and film at the same time in a car. So yeah, I, I, I don't, just to let everyone know where I'm, I have got this propped up against the window now. <laughs> you probably see the smears against the glass. Yeah, it's not the best footage, is it really? I mean, not on Peter Wood. Yeah, so basically I'm going down to that pack there he's gone over to uh, get the slings put the slings on you can see that um, my blocks swinging a bit now because I stopped abruptly so um, yeah I'm gonna have to make sure I get a nice clean area for the for the phone to sit even if I prop it up there it's still got a lot of marks yeah it's a bit marky isn't it <laughs> I'll go and get that lift anyway you can see you can see the nice footage it's just it's just not that clear. Um, I've just told me banksman down there, well I still call him the banksman, it's the mislinger, he's actually a crane supervisor. Like I said, he's uh, called Sergei, he's from uh, Croatia. Uh, some really nice guys on site. I mean seriously, if you're really interested in doing what I do for a living, not along with just doing theme parks as well, I mean that is just a hobby. I started with a hobby and, and that channel's gained nearly, well, it's just over 32,000 subscribers now. If you haven't seen that channel already, go and check it out. Coaster Crazy on YouTube. YouTube? Yeah, boy. I know we play music and stuff as well. Um, not all the time, just now and again. I, I like to be quiet. I like to hear the crane. So I like to hear my radio going off, him telling me where we're going. The footage should get better in a minute as I get out of the sun. The sun's just there, uh, just to the centre of the screen, or just to the left now of the screen. Yeah, so my block is at the top now. It's a bit snappy, this crane. It's quite old, like I say. I do, I do quite like a modern crane. The, the cabs are a bit bigger. They also have air conditioning. In the, in well, in most new cranes, this has just got this side window, which I just showed you a minute ago. Uh, so if it does get hot, I just open the window and the door, um, and then I'll maybe get a fan, a plug-in fan. So I've got space for another another plug down there. So I'll get myself a fan, and yes, yeah, going to a toilet, I use a bottle, which is what I hid at the top because <laughs> I don't want nobody wants to see that in view. Yeah, so if I need the toilet, if I need to go for a piss. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's in a bottle, unfortunately. Your wee wee goes in a bottle. But if I need to go for a number two or a shit, then I go to the. I'll have to climb down. But I've actually trained my body over 17 years. I've been doing this job now. Trained my body to uh, be able to sit here for 10 hours a day and not need to go for a shit. It's it's some skill. <laughs> so I was driving this crane without hitting the deck. 
don't know if it's even in focus. No, I can take you off now. So this is my little free moments that I get and stare out the window. So he's taking those bites off the top, the timbers, and he'll lay them down and I'll just I'll lower it down. But the footage isn't great now, I've zoomed in now. So it's probably even worse with the GoPro, you won't see anything. There you go, we'll stop there. So he puts his hand up, he uses uh, the radio if he needs to, if I can't see him. But yeah, he's just telling me to go up now, so I'll basically go up on, on my right stick and just listen out for his next instruction. Behind the silo, slings on the pilot already. Slings behind the silo on the pallet over there, so uh, that there. <laughs> Right, so yeah, I've, I think I've filmed enough. Um, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. Basically, an introduction into what I do for a living and a brand new channel and a brand new day. I mean, at the end of the day, I could just say, I'll, I'll, I'll film a bit in a bit and film this afternoon and add another 10 minutes worth of footage. But as it's just a like a trial at the moment and um, just sort of showing you what this channel is all about, then yeah, I hope you... I hope you do come on board with this one. I mean, I can be, I'll be doing like time lapses. I'll be sticking a time lapse with music, so there'll be a section for that. I could always still talk about my other interests at the same time. There's no, not a problem. I'd sit up here most days, and if I'm honest, yeah, I, uh, I'm on social media most of the day, um, but not while I'm operating. Obviously, mm, can't do that. Can I now? <laughs> So uh, yeah, there's actually a wagon, there you go, for your little boys at home. The wagon's just turned up, it's got, um, I don't know what it is on there. It might not even be for us, it'll be for the ground workers. We've got a lot of pallets, anyone that wants any free pallets, there's hundreds here. <laughs> yeah, I'm selling pallets for this site as well. Yeah, it's a nice area, it really is. There's a, a school just there, look at that shadow now. Beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually originally from Morecambe as well, so you might have heard me, uh, oh, it's telling me to go, my uh, northern accent there. So yeah, if you can't understand me, just tell me and I'll put subtitles on or something. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, bit of footage of me driving the crane today uh, on a beautiful Tuesday morning. I think it's Tuesday, pretty sure it's Tuesday. If not, it's Wednesday. <laughs> I think it's Wednesday. Anyway, I'm Andy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.